Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Save a Prayer by Duran Duran. And it starts out with a really cool keyboard lick that you can kind of play on the guitar by playing open D, and then second fret on the D, and then third fret on the D, and then second fret on the G, and then first fret on the B, and then second fret on the G, and then first fret on the B, and then second fret on the G. So you're going D, E, F, A, C, A, C. really cool way to kind of kick off the tune and then from there in our verse part we're actually going to a D minor chord and when you play D minor first finger goes to the high E on the first fret second finger goes to the G string on the second fret third finger on the B string on the third fret and if you strum just the D G B and E kind of the skinny four strings that sounds a D minor chord it sounds really really sad and then from D minor we're going to an F major chord we're talking about an easy way to play this but if you know the bar F major you do your first finger across the entire first fret Second finger goes to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the F major chord, or a good substitute for the F major, if you don't want to kind of play the bar chords or you just want to avoid them, is F major 7. And when you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger goes to the G string on the second fret, and third finger goes to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds like F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. So that can be a good substitute for the F. And then from the F major, we're going to be going to a B flat major. And the way you play B flat major, and this is a real pain in the butt, is you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger goes to the third fret on, on the D string. Third finger on the G string on the third fret. And the pinky goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B flat major chord. It sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times for myself, actually, what I'll do is I'll take my third finger and kind of go over the D, G, and B to kind of cover those strings. And sometimes that's a little bit easier, especially on electric. But if you want to make a little bit smaller B flat major, if you're just starting out, you can go first finger on the high E on the first fret, third finger on the G string on the third fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret, and kind of have just a three string or a four string B flat major. Or if you're a Want to, you can kind of take the second finger and kind of throw it in on the D string on the third fret and kind of make it slightly thicker. And then from there, we're going to be going to a G minor chord. And we'll talk about an easy way to play this chord in a moment. But if you know the, the, the bar of G minor, you do your first finger across the entire third fret. Third finger goes to the A string on the fifth fret, pinky on the D string on the, th on the fifth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like a G minor chord. But a lot of times with, with bar chords, kind of like we're doing with the B flat, you can take the top part of it and make just a small version of that chord. So you could bar two strings or three or four or five or six and kind of kind of try that G minor. Another way to play the G minor root position, this is really sneaky, is you could do second finger on the low E on the third fret, third finger on the B string on the third fret, and the pinky on the high E on the, on the, on the third fret, and then take your first finger and kind of mute out the A string, and you've got kind of the G5, which you could use for the G minor. So that's a little sneaky because it looks like what would normally be a G major, and actually we'll talk about a G major in a moment. But but it's we're muting out the A string for that. So all the way through our verse, we got D minor, F major, B flat, G minor, D minor. One thing that I like to do to kind of make a song like this more interesting, though, is a strum pattern. And one of my favorite 4-4 four -four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the D minor, for instance, and just did that a lot, you'd have down, down, up.
then when we get to our, our chorus part, and then we're actually kind of changing keys slightly, and we're going to be going to a B minor chord. And the way you play B minor, normally you do first finger over second fret as out of a bar. Second finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord. That sounds really, really sad. But like we talked about with, with the B flat, actually, you can kind of take the top few strings and make a smaller version of that chord. So you did the high E on the first fret, or second fret, second finger on the B on the third, and third finger on the G on the fourth fret. But if you strum the top three or even the top four strings, that's another way you can play B minor. And if you're slightly more adventurous, you could take the third finger and go to the D string on the four and the pinky on the G string on the four and kind of make it a little bit thicker B minor chord. And then from the B minor, we're going to be going to a D major chord. And I love this about Duran Duran because it's like we just had this sad D and now we got a really happy D. And the way you play D major is first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, you have the skinny four strings, just like the D minor, but now we have a happy D major. And then from our happy D major, we're going to go to a happy G major. And the way you play G major normally is first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, third finger on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And it's just as, a, as an aside, instead of that G major, if you want to take the third finger and kind of put them on the B string third and take the pinky and put them on the high E on the third, you can have a kind of a four finger G major that, that actually kind of looks a lot like our G minor because we were muting out the A with our first finger. Now you're actually just shooting for that A string second finger to kind of get part of the chord. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an F sharp minor chord. And the way you play F sharp minor is first finger is normally going to go over second fret as a bar. And this is going to look like G minor, but on second fret. But first finger is a bar second, third finger on the A string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the D string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor chord. This sounds really, really sad. Well, we were talking about with the G sharp minor, though, you can, you can take just the top few strings and kind of make a smaller version of that. Kind of practice different size bars too while you're doing it. And then from the F sharp minor, we're going to be going back to B minor. And then we go to D major. And then G major. And then at the end, we kind of have a quicker F sharp minor, A major. And then we'd be going kind of kind of back into part of our chorus for, for our solo. So we tried that that chord progression with our, our strum pattern. The only weird part is where we got that F sharp minor A at the end. What well, is the strum pattern is going to kind of half there, so we'll have just a down down up on each of those chords. So when we get to it, we got the F sharp minor with down down up and with the down down up. And all the rest of our chords kind of have our whole strum pattern. So we got B minor down up. Then we go into an instrumental part that's very, very much like our verse. So we got B minor down up, up down up, F down down up, up down B flat down down up, up down G minor down down up, up down G minor down down up, up down F down down up, up down B flat down down up, up down G minor down down up, up down up. And there's this really cool keyboard part that comes in there where you play third fret on the B string. And then go to third fret on the high E, and what I like to do is kind of do a hammer on the fifth fret, and then a pull off, and then a hammer on, and then a pull off, and then a hammer on. <laughs> so I'm going three, three, five, three, five, three, five, and then kind of doing that lick again, that three, five, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, and then on the last one, kind of going back to the B string on third fret. So you got D, G, A, G, A, G, A. D. It's kind of that cool little solo that comes in there. And then we'd be back to our verse part, so we're kind of still in that, that, that um, verse, or our verse progression. Where we got D minor, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, B flat, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, 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 up, down,
something else that I would think about kind of adding to this would be bass notes. And a lot of times what you can do on your first down, instead of doing your, your hold down over all the chords, you can actually kind of aim for just the bass string for your chords. So for instance, on the D minor, you could kind of do the D for your bass and then keep your down, up, up, down up for your strumming. So you got D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with the D bass, down, up, press in a little bit to kind of carry the sound to 5th fret and then end up on 2nd fret on the B string. So you're in D, A, A, G, F sharp, D, A, A, G, F sharp, D, D, E, C sharp. But then it also kind of sounds like, on that last part, I'm kind of shifting that by octave. Because the lick actually kind of sounds like you do 10 on the high E and do a slide of 12 and then go to ninth fret on the high E. So it's kind of a D, E, C sharp, a little bit higher if you want to jump into that. And then there's this cool little piano part that kind of comes in when the D minor kind of starts, where you go 7 on the G, and then 5th on the B string, and then 7th on the B string, and then 5th fret on the high E, and then 8th fret on the high E, and then 5th fret on the high E, and then 8th fret on the high E, and then 5th fret on the high E. So you got 5, 5, 6, 5, 8, 5, 8. Which is actually that same lick that we were doing earlier. 
yeah. as kind of our intro leg, just a little bit higher. And actually, as an aside with those licks, if you want to get kind of crazy with them, you could actually kind of add in some of the open Ds, especially when it's in this octave. So you could do it. So I'm kind of doing it on the 5th on the G string with the open D and then 5th on the high or on the B string and then 6th on the B with the open D and then 5th on the high E and then open D with A and then 5th fret on the high E and then open D with A and then back to 5th fret on the high E. picking so I'm using my pick with the, with the fingers to kind of work that but anyway that might be something else you want to kind of try with that intro leg too and then from there then, then we're gonna be going into our, our instrumental part that's kind of like our verse and then into our, our, our next verse so we got D minor down up up down up down 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 up up down D flat down down up up down G minor down up some of those chords that we were doing and we kind of start on D minor for our bridge and then we got a C major and the way you play C major is first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret same finger on the D string on the second fret and third finger on the A string on the third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds a C major chord and for the C major you actually kind of have an A string for your bass on that chord so we got C with an A bass now minor actually is kind of the other chord that kind of creeps in that we haven't talked about and for, so we'd be going to B flat major and then go into an A minor chord and when you play A minor it looks a lot like C you got first finger on the B string first fret second finger on the D string on the second fret and third finger on the G string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds like A minor chord it sounds really really sad so on our bridge what we, we've got D minor C major flat, A minor, it's kind of a walking progression. And so if we tried that with our strum pattern, we have D minor, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, B flat, down. And towards the 
like you're kind of halving an A minor and C instead of just doing an A minor. So if we tried that too, we'd have D minor down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, 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 down,